Chapter 832 The Coming Storm The Rising Tide Little Brother Lin You were too impulsive. Shai Bai helplessly said to Lin Ming after the martial artists from the Azura Divine Kingdom left. But even though he said this, he knew that the Forsaken God Clan by themselves were unable to shield Lin Ming from the wrath of the Azura Divine Kingdom. The Forsaken God Clan would need to have at least half the strength of the Seven Star Divine Kingdom before they and the Azura Divine Kingdom could tear into each other. Lin Ming also didn't know just what his chances of victory were. He looked at Shai Bai and said, As far as I know, the Azura Divine Kingdom doesn't have many top 20 ranked Destiny Decree Masters, right? Yes. Shai Bai nodded, but that is only on the surface. No one knows exactly what the truth is. Being in the top 20 of the Destiny Decree means you have an extremely high chance of reaching the Divine Sea. A top 20 Destiny Decree Master might possibly become a future Divine Sea Supreme Elder, bringing their Divine Kingdom a massive increase in their national war strength. If the status of this type of person were to be exposed, then it is possible that they would meet all sorts of hostile plots and traps while out adventuring for their own lucky chances. They might even be killed by assassins sent from the Divine Kingdoms. Because of this, only the high-level figures of the Azura Divine Kingdom would know just how many top life destruction powerhouses they truly have. Si Chu Hashin is a cunning old fox and fastidious in his nature. He is a lion that will use his full strength to capture even a rabbit. Don't think that he's afraid because he reluctantly agreed to your gamble. The truth is that he would never do that unless he had grasped an over 90% chance of winning. He would rarely gamble on anything, much less a fight so important to the Azura Divine Kingdom. The Azura Divine Kingdom's background might be beyond your imagination, but Si Chu Hashin will not reveal this. He will wait until the point that his enemy shows their weakness and reveals all of their hidden cards before he finally strikes out with lightning speed and defeats his opponent. I understand. Lin Ming gripped his fists. He could already foresee how difficult this battle would be. The only reason that Si Chu Hashin had been so reluctant in agreeing was because regardless of whether it was victory or defeat, both endings would result in exposing some of the Azura Divine Kingdom's hidden powerhouses. All of these powerhouses were of enormous value to the Azura Divine Kingdom. It would be difficult to withstand the loss if any of them died. You can cross life destruction in peace. My Forsaken God Clan will lend you a helping hand. Also, I've noticed that you have a wound in your spiritual sea that hasn't recovered yet. My Forsaken God Clan has a master skilled in curing wounds to the soul. The Forsaken God Clan were a people that countless talents had come from. Their clansmen had a bloodline seal, the support sphere, that could form a force field in a certain area and use this force field to enhance a martial artist's strength. This included endurance, recovery ability, speed, defense, and striking power. It was even possible to increase the power of one's will, soul force, perception, and so on. As Lin Ming thought of this support sphere, he remembered Ju, Patriarch Shai Bai, I have a matter to speak to you about. Shai Bai turned around. Lin Ming recounted Ju's story to Shai Bai. As Shai Bai listened to this he was startled. He obviously knew of a fellow clansman named Ju, but he didn't know that she had been kidnapped. As Lin Ming saw Shai Bai's response, he had some questions that he couldn't help but ask. Patriarch Shai Bai, I don't understand why the Forsaken God clan hides away in this world. Moreover, since your Forsaken God clan's background far surpasses the majority of the Sky Spill Continent's holy land, how come the Northwest Grey Desert would still dare to kidnap Ju? Don't they fear that this matter would be discovered by you and that you would take revenge against them? Shai Bai bitterly sighed upon hearing Lin Ming's question. He said, It's not that we want to hide in this world, but that we find it difficult to leave. Our Forsaken God clan has to bear a bloodline curse. In this dimensional realm, there are ray formations that have been laid down by our people throughout the generations, capable of weakening the power of the curse. But, these ray formations do not exist outside. For our clansmen, the higher their cultivation is, the stronger the curse's effects are on them. Only Zionshin realm martial artists and below can leave. As for Revolving Core and above, it is simply far too dangerous for them. They can at most leave for a few days before having to return. The exception is if you are like Ancestor Emperor Argent, a super powerhouse with a formidable will and a body tempered through lightning. They would be able to rely on their own powerful strength and resist the curse outside. This is also the reason why the notes he left behind are so precious to my clan. So it's like that. Lin Ming realized. No wonder the Forsaken God clan hid in their own world and the other powers didn't seem to fear them either. It was because they had no way to leave this dimensional realm. Dot. Three days later. Nine Furnace Divine Kingdom. West Imperial City. At the headquarters of Destiny Grasp, I want three different articles of news related to the movements of the four divine kingdoms. A martial artist wearing a bamboo had put a bag of spear and stones on the counter of Destiny Grasp. A middle-aged man behind the counter lazily passed the bamboo hat man three cards. As the man flipped through them, he was dazed as he read through the second card. The 280th Destiny Decree ranked Lin Langian has closed up to attack life destruction, and will challenge all life destruction masters of the Azura Divine Kingdom? This was shocking news. The Forsaken God Clan, Lin Langian, crossing life destruction. Lin Langian was known as the highest eternally rare talent underneath the heavens. With his late revolving core cultivation he had managed to rank on the Destiny Decree. If he were to cross life destruction, just what level would his combat strength rise to? The bamboo hat man sucked in a deep breath. I can't miss an awesome event like this. This news quickly passed through every information channel. At the start it was a secret. Then it became ordinary news. And finally it became common knowledge known by almost everyone. The battle would take place in three months. Three months from now, regardless of whether Lin Langian could break through life destruction, the fight would begin. Moreover, this was a cutthroat life or death struggle. Lin Langian has finally declared war on the Azure Divine Kingdom. He was being hunted all this time, but now he has actually launched a counterattack. I think this is a bit strange. Why would the Azure Divine Kingdom agree to Lin Langian's demands? With their ability, 
Couldn't they just directly kill Lin Lanjun? Destiny grasps information that didn't mention the Forsaken God clan protecting Lin Ming. This caused many martial artists to be puzzled. There have to be reasons we're not aware of. But don't you think it's impossible for Lin Lanjian to win this battle? Such an unfair match. Could it have been suggested by the Azura Divine Kingdom? Lin Lanjian must have been forced to agree. Even though there's no hope, he wouldn't give up. Think about it. Even though he is known as the number one extraordinary talent of the Sky Spill Continent, the Azura Divine Kingdom's background is still too deep. There wasn't a limit of opponents placed on this match. Even though Lin Lanjian is strong, it's impossible for him to fight a continuous battle of attrition. Indeed, how could anyone win if there's no limit to the number of opponents? The uproar became increasingly loud, like a coming storm. A rising tide. Not only did the four divine kingdoms hear of this, but even the surrounding holy lands, sects, and smaller countries also heard this news. The number one rare talent of the Sky Spill Continent had challenged all the life destruction masters of the Azura Divine Kingdom. This grand event captured the attention of the entire continent. Many martial artists crossed the hundreds of thousands of miles to come to the dimensional realm where the Forsaken God Clan lived. And at this time, the normally closed off Forsaken God Clan had opened their doors wide to the world, allowing all martial artists who came to enter. In Shai Bai's mind, this battle naturally needed as many witnesses as possible and needed to be known of throughout the entire continent. Otherwise, even if Lin Ming won, the stronger Azura Divine Kingdom might renege on their promises. 